गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास सो इन मैथ्स वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड विद ब्लॉक ट्वेंटी वन इज इन दिल्ड्रेन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आर न्यू ब्लॉक विच इज ब्लॉक ट्वेंटी टू एंड द नेम ऑफ आर ब्लॉक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू फ्रैक्शन ओके वॉट डू यू मीन बाई फ्रैक्शन दैट वी विल लर्न इन दिस ब्लॉक ओके सो इन दिस आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज हाफ थर्ड्स एंड फोर्थ ओके चिल्ड्रेन सो हाफ यू ऑलरेडी नो In your marks, you will get half marks, isn't it, children? One by two, ma'ams, right? One by two, half. Yes. So half, third, one by three, fourth, one by four. Okay. Let's see how do we get that. Okay, children. So identify the fractions. We need to identify the fractions here, children. So here, see, there is a circle which has been divided into three parts, isn't it, children? One, two. And three, they have been partitioned like this. Yes, three parts. Okay, so in a fraction, you have numerator and denominator. Okay, you will write the number, put a dash in between, and write below the dash also one number. Okay, so numerator by denominator, isn't it, children? And denominator will be the total number of parts. Here. this one circle one whole circle has been divided into three parts then the denominator becomes 3 okay dash you will write denominator below the dash which is denominator you will write the total number of parts which they have divided okay in the numerator you will write how many parts have been colored or you can say which are shaded okay how many they are there one isn't it so you will write one in the numerator you understood children so this is your fraction this is your denominator and this is your numerator okay denominator you will write total number of parts the thing has been divided okay and the numerator you will write how many parts have been colored or have been shaded with some color with my it not compulsory should be black it might be any color 1 by 3 for suppose if two color two parts have been colored okay total number of parts are 3 isn't it you will put a dash and write the denominator 3 how many are colored this is colored and this is colored two parts are colored so you will write 2 so the fraction when two parts are colored is 2 by 3 when three parts are colored then it becomes 3 by 3 total parts are 3 and number of parts colored is 3 3 by 3 is nothing but complete one whole one whole one circle isn't it it is one whole okay children let me show you the next one so here you have a pentagon isn't it a pentagon is divided into two parts here isn't it 1 2 two parts then the denominator will be 2 here so denominator will be 2 and how many parts are colored only one part isn't it only this part has been colored so you will write in the numerator 1 so in this way you need to write the fraction a fraction has two parts numerator and denominator denominator is the number of parts a shape has been divided okay and numerator is the number which shows number of parts which are shaded in that shape okay which are colored in that shape okay children am i clear with you yes now let's see the next question here they have given the fraction we have to draw the shape and color it okay divide into those equal parts which are in the denominator and color the number of parts which are in the numerator okay so here you have 1 by 4 children here you can take any shape it can be a rectangle square circle pentagon hexagon any shape you can take but that should be divided into four equal parts okay why because denominator is four that means so many parts you need to divide so you need to divide four parts okay i have taken a circle which i have divided into four parts and i colored one part why because the numerator is one so i colored only one part okay children let me show you another one one by two here also you can take any shape circle square rectangle any shape but it should be divided into 
two equal parts two equal parts why the denominator is two okay and the numerator is one that means in in that two parts you have to color one part okay so i have taken a circle again which i have divided into two parts one part i have colored here children you can color any one part this also you can color this also you, you can color it's your wish okay so you have to color one part for example if it is three by four so you can take a square divide into four equal parts and color three parts you have to color three parts okay so in this way you need to do the draw the shapes for the given fractions okay there are few more in your daily schedule children for both the sums copy down in your class workbook okay coming to your next one write fraction names for the following so they have given the fraction you need to write the name of the fraction okay so one by two means one half or you can write one and a half okay one and half okay children next one by four one fourth you can say one by four is nothing but one fourth okay that is fourth next two by four two that dash this sleeping dash sleeping line is called is read as dash two by four sorry by it is read as by two by four so two fourth four is so the denominator should be with th children th fourth two by fourth okay next three by fourth okay three by four if it is three by six you will write three by sixth if it is seven you will write seventh okay next two by two two by two means two by two you will write no two by half you will write no it's one whole why because two by two means what there is a shape which has been divided into two parts and two parts are colored which means one whole shape isn't it children 2 by 2 3 by 3 4 by 4 5 by 5 6 by 6 7 by 7 100 by 100 means whole one whole okay so 2 by 2 or 4 by 4 or 3 by 3 it is called as one whole okay so these are the sums you have to write it in your class work first and second questions children there are few more in your daily schedule copy down in your class work and third one You, I have written everything so that you can know the name of all the fractions. Okay, so write this in your class work. Coming to your homework, complete the volume book, children. Two pages you have. Volume book three, page number thirty. S one halves and fourth halves means one by two. Fourth means two by four, one by four, three by four. All these are fourth. Okay, third means one by three, two by three. Okay, children. S two page number thirty one. S two halves, third and fourth. Okay, so complete this, children. In the next class, we will learn the next topic, children. See you in the next class. Bye.